Hey, child. Long time no see, child. We ain't spoke in a minute, honey. Good morning. How y'all doing? Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Konnichiwa. Uh, hola. Bienvenidos. I don't speak all the Spanish, all the languages, child. <laughs> but I want to make sure I covered everything. How y'all doing today? How's y'all 2020 going so far? I hope everything's going good. I'm just here, child. I ain't talked to you in a minute. I'm sorry. Things been going on in my life. I've been trying to put it together, but you know how that be. I'm still here. You can call me sometime. Reach on out. But matter of fact, that's how you do it. Go to YouTube and subscribe. My name is D-E-S-H-O-N-G-R-A-Y. Just look me up on YouTube. You might see, when you hit look me up, you might see Plop Life come up. That's P-L-O-P-P-L-I-F-E. Subscribe to that too. That's the YouTube channel. I mean, that's the podcast that I do. Me and Satcha. I'm half of the co-host. Me, Satcha Grange. However she feeling that day. I Grange. I like Grange's. But anyway, yeah, go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe and follow. Hit that bell, too. That'll be so good. That'll be so good. But I hope y'all's 2020 is going good so far. Everything's looking good, smelling good. I just got a little shower and stuff, and I'm going to put my glow starter on. Y'all know how I do. Everybody can come through. Know how I do a good old glow, glow start first. Start glowy, baby. Make sure your list is a mega illuminating moisturizer. Hydrant mega illuminant, honey. Make sure you go put that glam glow on, baby. It's that glow starter. This one I got is a nude glow. They got pearl glow, nude glow, and bronze glow. I got nude glow. I like bronze. It got a little, little small tint to it. It ain't very much. So men can use it too. If any men out there want to use it. Um, I got nude cuz during the Christmas time it came, the mega size came with a mega size uh, <laughs> mask. <laughs> so that's why I got it. The only color they had was nude. But it works the same. It's a moisturizer. And I'm glowy. You see that glow? Ain't that nice? Yes. I hope everybody 2020 going good so far. Everything going nice. Which, have y'all made any resolutions or life changes? Please let me know. Comment down below. I'll put my little stick away. Comment down below and let me know what's going on. I ain't got much going on, child. Just been working and still trying to work on this um, channel for Plop Life. It's going to be a real good giveaway coming up. So if you're not following Plop Life on all social media, like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, P-L-O-P-P-L-I-F-E. People love other people's problems. Ain't that catchy? Anyway, speaking of other people's problems. <laughs> well, not really a problem. You know what, y'all? I didn't, I didn't start dating. I've opened myself up to dating, child. I have, honey. Ain't that something? I wasn't necessarily closed off before. I just felt like it was just a... At the risk of being shady to anybody, it was a bunch of fuckery and clownery last year. In the last few years, actually. It's just been last year. So I'm doing something different. And, and the fuckery and clownery has not necessarily been from other people. Some of myself, too. And and, and, and that's, that's it. the clownery wasn't from me, because I don't do no clown and I don't play with people's time. But I don't know if I was too hard or if I was being unrealistic. I don't even know what that even means, actually. Like, what's unrealistic? What I want is unrealistic. I'm not going to let nobody make me feel like that's the case. But I could, I, I'm, I'm going to be a little easier. And I think um, because I'm human, I think some residual baggage from other people maybe have led me into walking into something new with, you know, you can't go into, you, ain't, you can't go into, you know, meeting Bob and give him, you know, Billy shit. Don't do that. But it ended up being that Billy and Bob was the same fucking person, like, you know, I think also too a little bit of that is when you didn't rock when you didn't rode a particular train for so many times, you know where that motherfucker going, you know the route, you know the destination, you know the, what they serving on that everything, all that. So maybe that's why I felt this, maybe that's why some of that went that particular way. But I'm doing something different. I recognize that I'm responsible for my own energy. I'm responsible for what I get out into the world. Be even if this person is like that other person. You know, cause y'all know I cut off my quick my cutoff game is quick. Uh oh, okay. Thank you. Um and move on. I'm trying to be a little bit more lenient and not being such a bye. You know? Y'all like that bye my little scissors. But um, that's black up. I put some black up on. Um, I think this is a French company. It's called Black Up. Black Up Paris. Yeah, it is. It's a, a mattifying, perfecting mattifying base. It's supposed to keep you matte all day. 
and not let your makeup shine or whatever. But I mean, I like it. It's cool. Y'all know this is not a tutorial, so I'm just telling you what I use because it's what we do up over here. Yeah, but I have also been working on making sure that I'm keeping aligned with that's my Melanie Mo Melanie Mills illuminating br and bronze gold because that's what I wear bronze gold, darling. Um. I made sure I keep it up with, with, with the life change that I said I was going to. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I was like, I'm going to just. I'm going to serve you what you've been cooking. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. I like it that way. Because people always say saying stuff like, you know, I'm giving you what you give me. I'm not giving you what you give me. I'm taking what you give me and I'm going to cook it and give it back to you and see if you like eating it. Because these, these are the ingredients that you've pre presented to me. You know, if I'm making any kind of recipe, I can only make a recipe out of whatever's been brought as an ingredient. So, if these are the ingredients you're giving me, if you're giving me a little bit of foolishness, if you're giving me a little bit of, you know, attitude, if you're giving me a little bit of, I can't do, I can only do what I want to do. Or if you're giving me a little bit of love and giving me some good kindness and a whole lot of heart and a whole lot of understanding and a whole lot of um, long-suffering and all the good fruits of the Spirit, you're going to have a wonderful dish when I'm through. But if not, it's going to be bitter, sour, and putrid. <laughs> I just wanted to say putrid. <laughs> no. Or I won't give you nothing. I don't want to revert back to that, but that's what it is right now, because I've been I'm I'm tired of taking people taking shit and foolishness and fuckery and giving you a good old sweet cake. I'm not doing that no more. You give, you go to the store and you give me nasty ingredients, you have a nasty ass pie. Then you give me some sweet. You're going to be fed with some good, you're going to have a good old sweet tooth when I'm through. Because I'm going to add my little piece on it too. I sure am. This is my um, Cryolon stick. The color is Chin. 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 C-H-I-N. Chin. Whatever. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Yeah, just put a little bit on there, huh? Mama don't need much. I just like a little makeup. With a little evenness. You know, I put a little bit on the little area that I feel like might be a little dark. Just to make it balance out. Anytime you put something light on, the light color on top of something darker, it balances it out when you put your other foundation on. So that's that. But again, this is not no this is, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a girl who wears makeup. And this ain't a tutorial. I'm just telling you what I use. <laughs> we got that by now, though. I just like saying it. Let me ask y'all, what else has been going on in the news, honey? Let me tell you, y'all hear Bishop Jakes in the background talking. That's why I'm trying to clean up my language a little bit. Because I don't want the good prophet to be playing. And I'm sitting up here talking about this, that, and the third. He just came on, so we got a little time. We talking about Jesus, too, so I really got to get it together. But you know what? I, 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 I know people are have been posting a lot in the past, you know, couple years saying, you know, I'm living my best life and doing my best life and they put that best life on social media. But I would I would venture out to say that I don't think your entire best life can be captured on film. I think if you're really living your best life, you ain't got time to be holding up trying to film it. I think if you're living your best life, if I'm privy to actually know you, then I can be able to testify that. And see that. I don't have to wait for you to post it. Live your best life. Live your most authentic life too. I'm just looking up in the mirror too. Because I know. I'm in a tutorial so. Ain't no good lighting in here like that. Anywho. Yeah child. Live your, live your most, be your most authentic self. And it's, it's very. Don't be alarmed. When people who are. Not so bold. Or have not gotten to that place yet to live their authentic life and to be their true self. Feel a certain way about it and have commentary. Because they're hiding or afraid or whatever the case may be. Just a little bit of this. This is the color V19 in my Krylon stick. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised if they... Don't be surprised. Just take note. Just take note on what it is and... Handle it accordingly. 
and whatever energy they give you, bake them a cake and tell them if they get it back in a the sweet, then they've done the right thing. If they don't, and it's a little tart, they may not have understood and they may have had a little bit of hate and shade and jealousy. But you have to let people live in who they are. And even if they are living in a place where they're not being authentic, they have the right to do that because I think that some, most, a lot, all the time, for the most part, we all start there, you know, until we get to a point where we can say, hey, you know, this is who I am and this is who I want to be. And it doesn't mean it has to be this humongous, like, oh, I'm just, you know, coming out moment. It just means that you're venturing into being who you are and what you want to present to the world. And, nothing, and nothing's wrong with that. Nothing at all. I think it's a beautiful thing once you get there. I think the journey is beautiful getting there as well. I just don't think that... Look at my little hand, my little... I don't, I don't think that... I just don't believe that it takes somebody to always have commentary and always have something negative and nasty to say about you in order to get there. That's foolishness. We're not going to go with that. We're going to go with something positive. We're going to go with what we know. Okay? Yeah, child. But other than that, it ain't been too, too, too much. I've been, um, I went back to working. Since we on hiatus from Plop Life, make sure y'all follow on Plop Life. Since we on hiatus from Plop Life, I have been back to Tuesday. My Tuesday regimen, which I used to do on Tuesdays. Um, I used to do my body pump class, which is the weights and the squats and stuff like that. And I would also do my Zumba class with Jeanette. Hey, Jay. And I would also do the spin class with Jeanette, too. So I do spin on Tuesday, Wednesday, and I do it on sometime on Thursdays with Keith. Hey, Keith at KTX Fitness. And um, I do it on Sundays with Keith, too. So I'm trying to get it together, girl, so I can be fine, child. I want to be good and right. You can't tell nothing about this big old thing because I'm just putting makeup on. But, yeah, I'm trying to get it back together. Keep it, keep it intact. Keep it in line. Because, you know, when you become a woman of a certain age, you know, that battle of what they call the battle of the bulge, that bulge be winning. <laughs> But we're going to keep it right, keep it light, keep it cute. You know, I also wanted to address some things. Somebody told me why I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Somebody was like, oh, look at you. I like the way your skin looks, you know. But on my skin, well, you know what I do? I do a little dry brushing. I know y'all, a lot of people haven't heard of that. You don't tell you, so you take this dry brush. Let me go get it for you. Hold on one second. It's just right here in the shower, child. Don't worry about it. I got to go far. These little exfoliate, these right here, they are everything, honey. This little dry brushing situation is so good. I keep mine in the shower. That's where I keep it at. You can use it in the shower too. But dry brushing, you just do it on your skin while your skin is dry. And you just take the brush and you brush up from the, all your whole body. You brush, say you brush up, but you know. And it's supposed to have some particular quality. Just as long as you're brushing. Um, but yeah, you, uh, it makes your skin so soft. See how you see how it looks? Like, oh, it looks so soft and smooth. Well, anybody who knows me, who's been around me in person and touched me, it is soft and smooth. Look at that. Elbow, sickening. Yeah, I dry brush. It feels like butter, child. It feels so wonderful, child. They like when they touch you and you feel soft. But nobody want to cut, touch you and get cut. They're trying to sue you then. <laughs> I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, this is my little cover girl. Professional Clean in 115. <laughs> That's the name of the color. That's the name of the product, Professional Clean, and the color is 115. I didn't make that up. But I freestyled it over. Yeah, try dry brushing. You don't, have to, um, you don't have to put anything on it. I, I don't. You know, people have different methods for what they do, but uh, what, they, what they put on their skin. But I do it, and then when I'm done with it, um, you can take like a, um, you can get in the shower if you want to. I mean, Unless your skin's like really, really rough, there shouldn't be any particles flying anywhere. But if you feel, if there are, it's like dry, dead skin coming off, 
when she possibly can. Dead skin coming off. You can get in the shower. You can take your warm cloth or, or cool cloth. I'm sorry. Because cold closes pores. Take your cool cloth and wipe your body with it. Unless you want to get into a little, like, you know, tepid shower and rinse off. Of, whatever you want to do. Cool cloth. And then put you put your good heavy moisturizer on. What I use is old school. Like my grandmother. Y'all know my grandmother used Vaseline for everything, honey. I put Vaseline on my whole body. That petroleum jelly. A lot of your favorite uh, products that cost tens, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars. I ain't gonna say no names on it. Have a lot of petroleum jelly in it. <laughs> but it's healing for the skin. Petroleum jelly is healing for the skin, child. So, yeah, and it just makes it keep nice and soft, child. And I also use a little of that caress. Let me see. This is what I shower with. I use caress, evenly gorgeous for radiant skin, child. I use that. That's caress. That's what I put. That's what I. It's a shower gel with burnt brown sugar and carrot, a car, carrot butter, K A R I T E butter. It's everything. I've been using it for a long time because I want evenly gorgeous skin. <laughs> Is it evenly gorgeous? I can put nothing else. I can do too much. But yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So let me. Y'all try that. And let me know. And I got my dry brush. I know they sell them in different places. That like you can get them at like Nordstrom's or. Um, Neiman's and stuff like that for like ten or fifteen dollars, child. I got mine from CVS for three ninety nine, child, and it lasts a long time. And the little brush part comes off if you, cause some people you can use it with the long handle. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can use it with the long handle if you have like your back and stuff you want to get to or your legs up there. But this part also comes off, see? And so you can just do it like that with that part. Mine's a little wet cause it was in the shower. I just used it in the shower. So I didn't do it dry, did it wet today. Yeah, child, it's so simple. It's so in it. Your result, you'll see your results immediately, and you'll love. You know what? Thank me for it. Let me know if y'all try it too. It's so many YouTube videos on it. There's YouTube videos on everything. You always tell people YouTube can save the world, child. YouTube can tell you how to brush your teeth and change your tire, probably at the same time. <laughs> that was my Maybelline um, Fit Me color number 40 in dark. It comes in three colors. It comes in like, I think I like a light, a medium, and a dark, and some shit, something like that. But this is number 40 in dark. Fit Me powder. Loose powder. <sighs> Loose powder. And I just sit there and I bake a little bit. Bake and talk. You put my eyebrows on now. But yeah, child. I hope everybody's been doing something really, really wonderful, honey. Remember I told you you have your two goals that you want to finish by the end of the month. I hope we're working on that. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we are working on our two goals, honey. Keep yourself accountable. I'm here as your good as your good as your good girlfriend, honey. I'm on here. Um, making sure that you're keeping up, up keeping abreast upon whatever your goals are. If you set them for the end of, find about the end of the month. You can do the end of the month, end of the week, whatever. But I just kind of said, find two things. It was January second. Find two things for two, by the end of the month. Two things to to to. I can't do it like that. I'm putting my eyebrow on, honey. Hold on. But yeah, just find two things that you want to accomplish. You know, whatever those two things are. And since it was January second, and this is and this month has 31 days in it, I was like, I think there's enough time to find something really good to work on. If you want to work on your me. Sorry, y'all. On your time, or if you want to work on um, whatever, whatever your goals are. I hope they're coming along great. I'm just here. As little, as I'm not here to judge. Whatever. I'm just here to be an accountability partner. And please make sure that you're accountable to me as well. I mean, I'm accountable to you as well. So you can ask me. And I love when you all comment and you all um, like and comment and post. I love interacting with everybody. That's what I do. I don't, I, you know, I love talking to people, as y'all can very much tell. You had to be a talker to be able to sit here in the mirror and talk to talk to people like this. And then post it, <laughs> hoping that they like it. <laughs> but because, you know, we just do raw and off the cusp, honey. Right now, I'm, put, I'm using my um, chestnut pencil, MAC. Love it. That's what I do. Yeah, honey. That's all mama been working on. Sound like Bishop Jackson went on. Something else on on TV. Uh huh. Yeah. Mine is coming together nicely. 
I love it. But so, and some things you may want to keep to yourself. You may not want to share. That's okay too. You ain't gonna say everybody everything. Sometimes you want to move in silence. I, and I feel like that's a new way. I feel like that's something that we should probably try doing too. Like if you want to move in silence and just you know, instead of showing people process, show people results. Some people don't need. You can't tell everybody everything. You don't need to tell everybody everything. Bobby, we take on with your left hand, know what your right hand doing. Left, right, and they close as all outdoors, and you need both of them to operate most times. What does that mean to be that close and not know what the other one's doing? Hmm. Maybe something to that. But yeah, because I know a lot of times we have concentrated on focus and telling people, I'm doing this, I did that, I did that, and that's fine too. But some things, you know. And I kind of got that from, I remember watching years ago, I was watching Oprah's show when she had the Oprah Winfrey show when it was on TV, when it was a, her regular talk show. And she had the Dream Girls cast on there. Shout out to the Dream Girls. Shout out to Nika. Hi, Nika Nani Raz. I love her. But she was talking to all of the cast. I mean, she was talking to, at first she was talking to Beyonce. And she was telling her, um, you know, make sure that, you know, in this life, and this works for everybody on their own level, keep something for yourself. Don't give everybody everything. Ain't necessary. Keep something for you. The minute you start giving everybody everything, and this is me now adding on to it, the minute you start giving everybody everything, they feel entitled to you. And nobody has got the rights and had the right the rights uh, um, or patent on you. Ugh, thank you. You own you. You're not a product. You're a person. <laughs> but you produce. Come on. Say something. Got my little Anastasia Beverly Hills. I kind of went over it a little bit. Set it up in there. In, in chocolate. Anastasia Beverly Hills. In chocolate. Makeup always make my nose run. Anywho. Keep something for you sometimes. But yeah, you don't got to share everything if you don't want to, child. Keep something for you if you feel like you need to. Ain't nobody going to be mad at that. This is a... Uh, a graphic marker eyeliner. It's a pencil, a pen. It looks like a Sharpie a little bit. It's in jet black. I kind of like ombre my eyebrows. I don't know how I like to do it. Yeah. And, um, but y'all know this is not a tutorial. Just me putting no on makeup in the mirror. Talking to y'all, child, and I love it. So I put that up in there. Then I take my um, Maybelline. Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. It's the mascara for your brows. Brows in Auburn. And I kind of just like, you know, it's almost like a brow gel because I know people use brow gels to set their eyebrows in. So I use this and they don't go nowhere. But y'all y'all saw how I started off. And it kind of just blends it all in there. Let's see? Give it a little depth. A little something. That's all, honey. I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is my Chanel. N number 10, New or Black. Chanel Mascara. I'll put a little bit on. I can do this right here, looking in there. Yeah, I hope everybody's been doing pretty good, though. I'm so glad to be able to talk to y'all again. You have absolutely no idea. I've missed y'all. But I'm always here. Like I said, 24-7. You can catch me on the tube, honey. The tube called you. <laughs> YouTube. It is... Um, my name, D-E-S-H-O-N-G-R-A-Y. Please make sure you come by and see me. Yeah, I'm gonna put a lash on today. I ain't got no time to put a lash on. I got time today. I got time today to put a lash on. I get my lashes from the 99 cent store. They, <laughs> I do. And they car a beauty. And people always be like, girl, where you get your lashes at all the time? Because I put them on. I put them on fierce and sickening and quick. Girl, the dollar store. This number is S7. S like Sam. 7 like the number. 7 for completion. Cara Beauty. I get it from the dollar store. They have all the different numbers. But I got a bag of them. This is number 30, child. I got a whole, I got a whole bag of them. Whole bag. Bag of, bag of lash. 99 cents each. No problem. And they got all the ones. And they fierce, too, child. This is 100% human hair. 
Whether it is, it ain't no matter. Cause when I, I take them off every day. Sure, gonna throw them in the trash can. They're only a dollar. I know some people say they lashes, and that's fine. Sometimes them lashes you need to say, cause sometimes they be thirty and forty dollars. I've seen them. Not your mama, baby. But you know how many lashes I give for thirty, forty dollars? Girl, we have lashes to the end of the year. <laughs> yes, I will. Cause I don't wear them every single day. I wear them often, but not every day. But I, I'm feeling that I'm feeling the lash in my spirit today, child. I feel like I want to just bat my lashes, honey. I might catch a little something. Yeah, like I said earlier, I'm going back to that. I was, I'm just, I'm dating now. Yes, the gentleman caller. You know, seeing how that's going, it's going pretty well. It's, I mean, it's going okay. I have somebody that I'm. Remember I told you before I saw this post and it said in 2020 stop dating men from 2019 either either date no men or or, or new men all new men and I've actually opened up to men that I have not given opportunity to and I'm not given opportunity to who are pursuing me and I don't even know why I didn't I mean I kind of I don't know maybe I'm getting a little older I don't I want to be in a relationship I don't mind it maybe I'm getting a little older and so my what I like and I'm evolving anything that doesn't grow is dead I'm evolving and what I like and don't like changes and it changed you know I was just not being so silly like oh he gotta be this high he gotta be this what the skin tone whatever. you know whatever cause y'all know I like it, it wasn't skin tone but no, but no big thing for me cause you know how I like him child you know I like him uh, what they call beautifully challenged honey I ain't gonna say nobody ugly but girl you black 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 like this dress honey and Little challenge in the face or whatever. Even if you got a little flub on you, I'd be like, "Oh, you are daddy. You bang. You look like bang, honey." <laughs> well, those guys wouldn't really talk to me. They would, but it's always you, pretty much. TD Jakes are you, pretty motherfuckers who always want to say something to me, and I'm like, "Okay, well, I still like what I like, though, child. I'm just not closed off." And incidental, are we talking about that too, girl, t to ladies and gentlemen for that matter? Go out by yourself sometime. When you want to go out to the end that last sickness, ain't that no nail girl look like it's come out of my skin? But, um, go out by yourself sometime. Spend time with yourself. You know, I I've always been a girl who didn't, and I've never had a problem doing that, probably because I was an only child. But I've never had a problem with spending time by myself. Spend time by yourself, because let me tell you something. If you, don't, if you don't like being around you, what makes you think anybody else is? <laughs> Shit. You can't spend time by yourself. Why would anybody want to spend time with you? You don't like being with you. Why would you force somebody else to be around somebody you don't even like being around? And that's you. You with you everywhere you go. But not only that. Sometimes, even for us, for us ladies, sometimes, you know, if it, 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 uh, you know, of course it doesn't make a man weak. But sometimes it's intimidating for a man to want to be interested in you. have to walk up to you and 10 other, 10 other women sitting there by you. And you really want to talk to you and not have to be walking into the, you know, hands and ass and get all this extra judgment. Sometimes take yourself out for a cocktail or for a happy hour or to a movie or to dinner or whatever the case may be. If you're here in the Los Angeles area, one of the girl one of my one of the girls with nail shop, we was in a nail shop and said, you like my nails? They orange shack. I look wrong on it too. But anyway, she was telling me how uh, at Hollywood Park Casino they rebuilt it, whatever. She was saying how they have a bar in there now, child, and they have on Fridays and Saturdays at 9 o'clock they got a DJ up in there. She said she met her boo up in there. He older than her. It's a grown folks situation. She was like, it's really cute up in there. A couple of people after I said that, I was like, yeah, they do have a little something. I was like, oh, you went to? Even the dude I was, one of the dudes I've been dating or talking to, we haven't even on a date yet. We're going to date this weekend. But, um, one of the, he, he was like, he'd been up there a couple of times. He was like, it's real nice. He didn't go for that, uh, for the DJ situation, but he was like, the bar stuff is real nice. And I haven't been into Hollywood Park Casino since they remodeled it. And I, but I heard it's real beautiful. And I pass it all the time. They said it's nice up in there, child. So I'm I'm gonna go and see what it's talking about. That's if you in LA or if you ever come to LA. If you're not in LA, find a place in your find a little spot in your place, a little lounge or something. Something little something that's it ain't gotta be a clubby, clubby situation, but a little lounge or something like that, a little bar, a little after a little sports bar, whatever. Go by yourself and see what it's like. You know, be safe always and look out for yourself. Men and women, for that matter, because some of these women could be treacherous too. Now, don't be, don't be, don't be fooled. But for the most part, people are good, and everybody, and you will find other people. The crazy part about it is, I've noticed that when I go places by myself, sometimes you'll find other people who are in there by themselves. 
take your time to do that. And don't be and don't be put off by people so so quickly. Somebody's not interested in you, say hi to you. So ain't nothing wrong with having a conversation, even if you don't think they're gonna be in even if you, you, they don't strike you as, you know, your type, whatever the that means. Nothing it don't cost you absolutely nothing to have a con a nice conversation with somebody. It does not at all. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Be more open to doing stuff like that by yourself if you need to. It ha I mean, it's, it's, it'll be okay. You know, you can't take people everywhere you go. You don't need to get people everywhere you go. Sometimes do stuff by yourself. You, I have a good time. Chat. Sometimes I just go. Sometimes I just go down to the beach, over to Venice. I drive over there because I'm at a walking distance. I go to Venice, honey. I pull into the little spot, honey. I go to the little to the place where you rent bikes, and I ride the bike from Venice all the way to. Almost the Pacific Palisades and back, and just enjoy the scenery, enjoy God's beautiful nature, and enjoy the earth, enjoy being t having and uh, communing with the with the with the spirits, and just having a great time, and I, you know, and run into people. You never know. One time I was riding, I ran into Russell Simmons, child. I did. He was right. He was about. He went by himself. But it was about. Three. It was. He was with about four other women, and they were all riding. But he was really sweet. I met some great people. Me and Satchel did that before too. We've taken the kids out there. It's really cute. You just take the you take a little bike ride. We met some wonderful people. Have wonderful conversations. It's some beautiful people in this world. It's some wonderful. When I say beautiful, I mean their spirit and how kind and their energy and vibe. It's some wonderful people in this world. Don't be fooled. Don't look, uh, you know er, everything like it is on the news. You can find beauty in everything because let me tell you something. You can find beauty in you. Love is going to either draw people near you or draw people away. And most times it's going to draw people near you because people want to be loved. They want to be loved on. They want to be talked to in a loving manner. That's what they. That's what we want. That's what our spirit innately wants. Yeah, that was my Mac, honey. Um, C7 Studio Fix. Yeah, I think we put a little bronzer on too. This bronzer, I got this bronzer from... The beauty supply store, child, it's called Perfection Highlighter by NK Makeup. It wasn't like two dollars, child, but it works. People be going on there talking some. Oh, is it there? When you had a trophy wife? No, not that. Y'all know when I'm done, I'll take a picture for you, honey, and let y'all see my mug, honey. Yeah. Let me put this on real quick, and I'm gonna go put my clothes on and put my wig on. Head out the dough. The dough. The dough. <laughs> I love that. That don't ever get old. I won't leave that in 2019 or 18 or 17, wherever we can. Uh -huh. That Miss Foxy. Waiting for you at the door. <laughs> it's always applicable, honey. It's a mood. <laughs> yeah. But it is Friday. Thank you, Melvin. That's Melvin on Spectrum News, honey. He ain't here in the house with me. He's just on the TV. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to step out. I have a couple things I'm going to go be doing tonight. I think I'm with what my church is having prayer tonight, 8 o'clock, City of Refuge. If y'all in the LA area, honey, drive on down to Gardena, honey, on San Pedro, honey, and come to the City of Refuge to get you some of this good prayer, child. We're going to be in there praying and speaking to the Lord and covering ourselves and each other, child, from 8 until. They just ain't on until time, but it's okay. And eat until you feel like you're through. Go in the room and lay and prostrate before the Lord. I also got a little meeting tonight with the Unique Women's Coalition, honey. It's an advisory board. It's a close off meeting. You ain't invited to that. Unless you've been told to come. But you'll be able to see the residuals of it. Yes, yeah, for the Shayla and the girls. And all my good sisters, Miss Nina, Miss Tracy, and all the girls. We're going to come through and... Get together and put our minds together and figure out what we're going to do this 2020 be like. Ain't that something? This is my MAC, honey. This is... I have had it for so long. It's a blush, but I put it all over like a contour. I want to say it's raisin. The color been rubbed off. I had it for... See, it's pretty color. Anyway, let me go ahead and put my little clothes on, because I don't film that. Ain't hey, nobody's business what I got on going on. You know, my business. Okay, child, I'm back. There I go, honey. I put my clothes on, honey. Put a little certain thing on. Under my little gown. I was doing my little hair and makeup in. I'm going to put her on today, girl. I have wore well, her new waiver, honey, for this. It's a Tony and Guy waiver. It's the purple one. Yeah, I'm going to put this one on, child. But yeah, honey. <clears throat> I don't know what we're talking about, but it's okay. 
I put me a little Bronner Brothers spritz on. Now y'all know y'all use my pump it up, honey. Pump it up. It's all school child, three dollars, but it works. Put that girl on. Y'all know I always say middle parts make you look younger, honey. Put your middle part on. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna do it off center. I just switch my wig like that. <laughs> Boom. It's a little side part, a little soft center. Yeah. That's what mama gonna do. But yeah, I hope y'all having y'all a good old productive, wonderful day. Mother has put her wig on. It's time to step out into the world, get to work. Then I take me a little bit of spritz. I put it on my finger. And I just kind of press down right there where the little part is. It works. It stays on. So I'm going to get a couple bobby pins for this girl right here because I really, really pulled my hair down really, really tight. So she's not as snug as my other girl you always see me put on. So I'm going to put a pin in here. But she is, though. I just do a little extra protection because she got a comb in there, too. My wigs don't come off and they don't slide, so I don't worry about that. Yeah. Boom. Ju -ju -ju -ju. She's there. But yeah, this is who I am today, honey. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, productive day. I'm looking forward to all of your subscriptions that you're going to subscribe to now, right? You're going to go follow me on YouTube. You're going to like. You're going to subscribe. You're going to comment. All the things like that. And we're going to have conversations. I'm so excited to hear from you. Like I said, I'm going to up keep you updated on my dating and how that all that goes, you know, within reason. But no, I, I'm pretty, I think I've been pretty transparent. I'm nothing to hide. But I just, if it's going good, I'll let you know if it's not going so good maybe he'll let you know <laughs> he'll be like I dated that bitch I'm just joking I'm not really like that though. I'm really sweet I'm actually a really good girlfriend maybe that's why I haven't had a relationship in a while because I can give that to everybody but we shall see we're just going to see what that is I'll let you know so the next time you talk to me uh, maybe I have some different kind of news Thank you so much for coming by, child. I really look forward to it. Y'all have a wonderful, productive day. Hit, hit like, follow, subscribe. I can't say that enough. But it's all good, though. Y'all get it now, right? I love you. I'll see you later. Bye, baby.